Hi, my name is Dr. Lori Cayley. I am a functional medicine practitioner, and I work with women who have hypothyroidism and Hashimoto's. I help them to reverse their conditions naturally. Today, I want to talk about thyroid nodules. I recently had someone ask me if I could do a video on this, so I'm going to talk about how to do that today. And first, I want to talk about what thyroid nodules are. Thyroid nodules are changes within the thyroid gland. And um, when you feel, you can feel little hard nodule-like um, things in your thyroid. So when you can do an, your own self-assessment um, to feel your thyroid gland, so the way that you would do that is right here from your sternal notch, you just put two fingers and your thyroid gland is located right around there. So you can just feel your thyroid gland and go like this and feel for any nodules that may be in your thyroid gland. And if you find a, a nodule, it's um, good to get it checked out. So you can go to your primary care doctor who would order an ultrasound. And another diagnostic test would be a biopsy of the thyroid, but usually you can get um, the information that you need from an ultrasound. So um, you can, get, there is thyroid cancer that you can also detect. It is not very common, um, but it's good just to um, do a self-assessment. And if you are unsure, just go to your doctor and they can do the thyroid exam for you and order any additional diagnostic testing that they think would be necessary. So now let's talk about how you, if you do have thyroid nodules and um, the incidence is quite, it gets to be about 50% of the population um, once you get to about 50 years old. So it is common to see thyroid nodules. And like I said, normally they are no big deal um, and it is not a problem. So um, if you want to reduce your thyroid nodules, so if you found that you have thyroid nodules and you want to reduce your thyroid nodules, um, it's always good to get blood work done as well. And you want to get um, a complete thyroid panel, not just TSH levels checked. So you want to get um, TSH free T3, free T4, total T3, total T4, um, reverse T3, T3 uptake, um, and then you want to get your thyroid antibodies checked. So that's a full panel. Um, and that will give you a lot of good information or your doctor good information as well. And typically doctors only want to check TSH, but if you really want to know what, you're, what is going on with your thyroid gland, insist that you get all of those tests, a full thyroid panel. If they don't do it, find one that will. And I can help you get the testing done if you need someone to help you. So the way to reduce thyroid um, nodules is to address nutrient deficiencies. Some of the most common ones with thyroid problems are deficiencies in vitamin D, vitamin A, and selenium. There are many more. Um, you should investigate and figure out for yourself which ones you are deficient in, but um, those are three to start with. Next, you wanna remove toxins. Remove toxins from your house. Remove toxins from your cleaning products. Do not clean with what you find in the stores out there um, that are not green. To cleaning products are horrible. They are horrible for you. They are horrible for your kids. They are horrible for your pets. Make your own cleaning products. That's what I do. I use essential oils. I, um, I, I think that essential oils have so many great uses. And using them for cleaning is one of my favorite things to do. Cleaning products, I use them for laundry um, and just so uh, on and on and on. But um, get the toxins out of your house. Get an air purifier, get a water filter, um, and make sure you get a good water filter so that you aren't drinking um, contaminants. There are many, many, many contaminants in drinking water. Um, so make sure that you are getting something that is filtering everything out so that you are drinking pure 
clean water. Um, body products. Stop putting things from these places that are all over, um, that are just full of toxins on your body. Um, another thing is sunscreen. You can find organic, clean products that aren't going to set your immune system off. Um, these products are just horrible. Look in your house for mold. There, Many people have mold in their house and um, that's setting off their immune system. Many people um, have a toxic work environment. So you just have to uncover where your toxins may be coming from and um, just reverse what you're doing and stop doing that and choose to be green and clean. Um, the next thing that you want to do is address hidden infections. There are um, a lot of infections in our bodies that we are unaware of. There are a lot of viruses, bacteria, um, parasites, other pathogens, um, yeast. So we need to figure out what's going on. Um, get the right testing done. And if you don't have a doctor that will help you to do that, then contact a functional medicine doctor. I can help you get the right testing done. Um, a lot of people that I work with one-on-one -on -one tell me that they have done all the right things. They've changed their diet. They've gotten rid of the toxins. Um, they've done liver cleanses, done everything. And they are still having symptoms. And that is most likely because of hidden self infections in the body that no one is helping them to uncover. The next thing that you want to do is change your diet. So if you have a thyroid condition, you want to go gluten-free, dairy-free, and soy-free. You want to find if you are sensitive to other foods. Um, that's very, very important in recovering your health and um, getting rid of your thyroid nodules. Um, and then you want to take um, enzymes, systemic enzymes, Wobe enzymes are great, um, and I believe turmeric too will also help to get rid of thyroid nodules. And you also want to address um, estrogen dominance if you do have that. That is very common in Hashimoto's is having estrogen dominance, and it oftentimes can set it off. So especially after um, having after pregnancy um, or um, initially getting your period or going through menopause, you will have a lot of changes in your hormones, which will set off a thyroid autoimmune condition, and it will also cause um, nodules. So check, get the right testing done. Again, blood testing is not always the most accurate way to um, look at um hormones for sex hormones. There are other tests that I would recommend to actually look at those hormones. And there are tests that you can get for looking at how well your body is detoxifying. And that is important to do as well. So I hope this was helpful. And if you have any questions about anything that I discussed in this video, or you have any other questions um, regarding hormones, thyroid health, I would be happy to answer them. So you can always message me and um, I will get back to you. I hope you have a great day.